The aircraft flyby is a beloved experience of all aviation spotters. Today in X-Plane, we're going to recreate the flyby from the ground perspective or any other you care for using the built-in camera tools as well as a few little movement tricks. Welcome to Flight Brothers FT, produced by Tim and Lee. Plan the flight and fly the plan. All charts courtesy of Navigraph Charts, not to be used for real-world navigation. Be sure to subscribe and explore the rest of the channel for high-quality aviation content and entertainment. Alright, as you can see we are in replay mode, which you activate using uh, Alt-R for replay. And to get that perfect ground shot that will incorporate your scenery in, we're going to need a fixed view that also tracks the aircraft. So we're going to use one of the external functions up here. If you go to view, third thing down, external, you can see the second one, still spot, shift two. So I'm going to hit it to that. You can see we've got a fixed position. There's the aircraft coming at us. I basically call this flyby mode. So here I'll uh, fire it up. And you can see we are not moving, but it is tracking the aircraft as it flies by. And this is not sped up. I'm doing about 350 knots down the Thames. Let's go to a rear view of the aircraft. Um, the, best, the best results I've gotten are when I find a nice landmark. So you can see as we're coming down the Thames, downtown London, uh, the London Eye is coming up and that means we will have uh, Parliament and Big Ben on the other side. So the way I normally pick one of these is if I find a piece of scenery that I think the aircraft will interact with really well, I'm going to get the aircraft close about the edge of what would be visual range from the ground. So here we go, he's turning the corner and let's pause it right there. I'm gonna hit shift two. Now, as you can see, we have our fixed flyby mode. If I unpause it, it will immediately come by us. What you might not know is you can actually move where we are. So I'm going to reverse us. Your comma key will back you off. That's pretty darn slow. So hold down shift and then comma. Push shift first, then the comma, and we're backing off faster. Now we're moving away from the river. So I'm going to arrow to the right too slow so push shift and then the arrow to the right that's a little faster all right hey there's oh oh that's nice uh, we could shoot it from right here if you want to feel like you're on the ground use the arrow to move down maybe those trees are a bit too much uh, honestly I think let's try and pick a good one here's what I'm thinking from here We'll catch it passing Parliament and Big Ben, and then as it passes us and we turn, we'll catch the London Eye. Um, I don't remember if I set up this hotkey, but at least maybe it's a default. The home key will hide that replay menu, so I'm going to get the uh, I'm going to hit play. I'm going to get the mouse out of the way and hide that, and then we'll get a beautiful flyby as though we were on. Oh, what about the fifth or sixth floor of a building back here? So here we go. Play. Move the mouse in the menu. If you want, you can add a little bit of zoom. Here comes our jet. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to hit pause in replay mode just stops the uh, you know it pauses it there but it's not like it's an active environment all right I'm gonna go back up behind the aircraft now uh, let's try a different shot I'm gonna use shift 6 and that is an external what are they calling it here ride along mode this is locked onto the aircraft it's, it's actually a little bit nauseating I'm gonna back us off using comma and as soon as I hit play I'll hide that menu. See how we're locked on the aircraft. Now we can move this too. Here, I'm gonna use the arrow and then I'm gonna drag my mouse with the right click. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? 
Fantastic. All right, hit home, pause it. Let's go to the other side of the aircraft. That's shift four. This is an external view that the aircraft's gonna keep moving, the, the circle view. So when the aircraft turns, we're not locked on it. So it'll be a little smoother from the ground perspective, but it's a, a different kind of look. Uh, this looks like a great spot for a flyby. So I'm gonna hit shift two from here. Ah, that's too far out, too far out. Let's go back to the aircraft, shift four, rewind it a bit. Pause, shift two. Nah, let's go back farther. And pause, shift two. What I'd like to get, th this flyby mode, uh, it establishes the initial shot based on the speed of the aircraft and its current trajectory. So if you set it up before a turn's happening, sometimes it's uh, not gonna come right by you use it a lot on taxiways if I'm filming a, uh, a taxi out. Oh, here we go. That's about where I'd like it to be. So let's go from this side of the river. We should catch the, uh, the sun we should catch the sun glistening off that metallic aircraft. We're going to zoom in a little bit so that uh, tower bridge fills the shot. All right. I think we're going to have a winner there. So, uh, I'm going to rewind the aircraft just a little bit, pause it, play, hide the mouse and the menu. And here we go. Through the tower bridge. Beautiful. All right, so there you have it. The only uh, things you really need to do, it's shift two for that flyby mode. You can adjust your viewpoints in any of these by right clicking with the mouse and sort of dragging your perspective. You can zoom out with comma, zoom in with period. If you want that to happen more quickly, hit shift and you fly on back. Shift period, fly on in. You can uh, slow that down. Let's say you want a really smooth shot. Here, let's rewind this a bit. And it's playing. If I want to slowly rotate, for example, hold down control and then one of the arrows, you see how we're now rotating at a very slow speed. If I let go of control and then hit the arrow, you rotate quickly. If I want to go really fast, shift and the arrow, and now we're spinning. So uh, shift is fast, control is slow. The arrows move your perspective, left, right, over, and under. All right, so uh, happy filming. Don't forget, Alt-R puts you into replay mode. Uh, by the way, one last thing. If you're flying and hit pause and then replay, you're gonna be stuck with the menu bar at the top. So I suggest prior to going into replay, the aircraft is active, you are not paused, just Alt-R. There you go. If you enjoyed this video tutorial or have comments or requests, be sure to leave them below. And as always, remember, plan the flight and fly the plan.